Storm 4 Max across the Midwest. It's quiet. We have some cloud cover moving through. Uh, looks like some of that cloud cover should help prevent fog from developing overnight, though, but that's something that we'll have to watch as we head through the morning. High pressure was in place today. It's out of here, though, as we head into Friday. It's going to continue to move east. We'll see partly cloudy skies as we head through Friday afternoon, increasing clouds by Friday night and into Saturday. If you want to make some plans for the weekend, Saturday during the day, go for it. No problems with the weather. It's windy and it's cloudy, but the snow doesn't get here until Saturday night. So here's a look at the timing. You can see by 8 o'clock we're starting to see at least some of that snow moving in. It's going to start from our southwest and continue to work northeast. The center of the low passes to our south. Pretty widespread snow across the state by Sunday morning. That snow hangs with us around southeast Wisconsin. It looks like through a good portion of the day on Sunday. We're going to have to look at that lake effect snow potential. This air isn't overly cold, which isn't really a good setup for lake effect snow, but some of the other ingredients are there, so we're going to have to watch that. Any lake effect snow that develops could really add on to our snow totals. Even at 11 o'clock on Sunday, we may still be hanging on to some snow. So an early look at snowfall totals. I think the farther north and west you go, those amounts are going to be a little bit lower. I would say two to four inches closer to the lake, though, where we could could get some of that lake effect and farther south across Walworth, Kenosha, Racine uh, counties back towards Janesville. I think we'll see four to six and I'll say this is an early look at snowfall totals. They could certainly go up from here, so make sure that you check back with us at some point during the day tomorrow, either tomorrow morning or tomorrow night and check back with us on Saturday as well for any updates to that snowfall forecast. Again, it's windy over the weekend as we move from Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. Pretty quiet here. Another chance for actually rain and snow moves in Wednesday night into Thursday.